Hello everyone and welcome back to the last video of the series that I made, um, the My Sequel series. Today I'm going to show you the coolest thing in my opinion and that is how to join the tables that we created. Uh, as you can see here on the left, these are the tables that we created. If you did uh, participate, if not, that's okay. Um, I'm going to just show you how to to join these tables with the inner join statement. I want to show you this table here. It's the student grades table and it has a lot of numbers in here, which might not make much sense to you because you don't know who is student number three or who is student number 10. So what we do is we will make this table meaningful. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the SQL query and I already wrote the statement and I'm going to explain you now how to uh, make sure that you select the correct um, items. So the select statement, as you can see here, is basically um, the one you need to find out first what should your table look like. So what do we want to know? We want to know which who is student number one what's their first name and their last name we want to know what the grade id means and we want to know the subject id so once you have or the subject name sorry so what we do is we go we look at which tables contain these information so once we know for example the first name is contained in the students table. Let me close this one here. So the student's name is contained here in the students table, first and last name. So now what we write is students dot first name because that is where the information is located and the students dot last name. Then we need to find out where do we find the grade information so I'd say it's here in the grades table because here you can see what grade ID number one means and for example it means very good so now you select grades dot grade because that is the table you find the grade information and the last thing we want to know is what is the subject ID uh, which subject name does the subject ID reflect. So the subjects is in the subjects table and as you can see here subject ID 1 means biology. So we want to know the name so thus we will select the table name subjects dot subject name. So these are the this is the first step okay this is called selection of basically the data that you want and then you would say from student grades so this this name here is also as you can see a table name so how do we select this one i don't know the easiest way for me to explain this is the table that doesn't make any sense and that you want to make meaningful so that's the table name you're going to use here next statement we say inner join because that is the join statement we will use and now as you can see here, you have to select again the table names. Doesn't matter which order, but what matters is that you join them on, and now that's important, the student ID must be present in both these tables, okay? So it must be present in this here and in the students table. So now we can check students has the student ID, student grades, also has the student ID so we can join these two tables on this column name okay so you can only join tables that have one common column name and you need to find out which column name is present in both these tables okay next we want to know the subject so we like we selected up here subjects we want to know the subject name and now we need to look which of these, which columns are present in subjects and student grades. And if you don't know, no worries, you can just go on the table. 
and here we can see that we have a subject ID and a subject name. Let's see what the student grades has. Voila, we have a subject ID. Okay, so now we can join these two tables on the subject ID. And you would always write the table name here in the beginning and then make a dot and then say the column name that is uh, present in both tables. And then we join the grades table on Let's see again which of these column names are present in grades and student grades. Um, we have here the grade ID. And we also have the grade ID under grades. Okay, so now this is how we select um, the column names accordingly. And once you're done, as, as you can see here, I made a uh, an open parenthesis and a closed parenthesis and a semicolon at the end of the statement. Now if we run this command you will see what happens. As you can see now uh, we know uh, for example student number one her name is Diane a meter and she received a good grade in chemistry. Okay. So this is how you would join these tables. Um, it might be confusing at first, but as long as you practice and you can try out different things, see what makes sense. And if you make a mistake in your statement here, it will give you an error message and you will find out the mistake. So it's really not that hard. Um, I hope you, you enjoyed this video and you could learn something. My next video will be again on Python and using the Jupyter Notebook and we're gonna do another great tutorial on data analytics, a real-life example and I hope you can tune in for that.